This is the last part of our whiteboard discussions on the four types of relations in the square of opposition. And if you miss the first three discussions, which are about contrary, subcontrary, and subalternation, I recommend that you also check them out. Now, I'll discuss the fourth type of relation in the square of opposition, and this is called contradiction. A contradiction is a relation between universal and particular propositions having different quality. Hence, there are two pairs of propositions in a contradiction, namely, universal affirmative A and particular negative O propositions, and universal negative E and particular affirmative I propositions. Let me give you some examples of contradictions. 1. All men are mortal. Some men are not mortal. 2. No men are mortal. Some men are mortal. 3. Some drivers are sweet lovers. No drivers are sweet lovers. And 4. Some students are not intelligent. All students are intelligent. So, as you can see, Unlike contrary and subcontrary, the pair of propositions in contradiction differ not only in quality but also in quantity. Now, here is the rule in contradiction. One member of each pair is a denial of the other. In other words, if the universal is true, then the particular is false. And if the particular is false, then the universal is true. Let us consider the examples earlier and assign truth value to them. So, if we assume that the proposition, all men are mortal, is true, then its contradictory, some men are not mortal, is absolutely false. Of course, obviously, if it is assumed that all men are mortal, then it is impossible for at least one man to be immortal. And so, if we assume that the proposition, some students are not intelligent, is false, then it's contradictory, all students are intelligent, is absolutely true. Of course, the first proposition says that there is not at least one student that is not intelligent. Hence, we can logically conclude that all students are intelligent. That is all there is about contradiction. That's how simple a contradiction is. Now, to close off this series of whiteboard discussions on the types of relations in the square of opposition, I will provide a quick summary. So, the four types of relations in the square of oppositions are contrary, subcontrary, subalternation, and contradiction. Contrary is the relationship between universal affirmative A and universal negative E propositions, while subcontrary is the relationship between particular affirmative I and particular negative O propositions. Subalternation is the relationship between universal and particular propositions having the same quality. And lastly, contradiction is the relationship between universal and particular propositions having different quality. That's it for now. Thanks for visiting us today for another whiteboard discussion here at Philo Notes. Full transcript of this video is available at philonotes.com. And to keep you updated of our newest videos, simply click here and subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. Thanks! Take care!